Welcome back to Mosaic. My name is Chris Leifert, and my guest today is Father John Pitterit, uh, the Vicar for Administration at the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And Father John, I'm going to go through the rest of this list. Just uh, We started reading it before the break, and, and uh, these essential teachings of the church that often are talked about, sometimes confused. I'm just going to read through the rest of them, uh, and then we're going to go back and maybe you can say a few words about each one. The priesthood, the, the belief in life, chastity, what is chastity? Chastity in, in one's state in life, uh, contraception, homosexual acts, homosexual orientation versus acts, and, and the call to chastity for everyone, and marriage, the institution, the sacrament, the covenant, and what we believe as Catholics about marriage and the civil law, and then finally, reproductive technology uh, and, and cloning, and things like that. So. Yeah, you know, this is probably enough for like a series of 13 <laughs> shows, but we're going to be ambitious. And just a few words. For example, the four marks of the church, one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. I would focus on the apostolic. Okay, apostolic means that the bishops who are functioning as bishops today are connected to the apostles, mm -hmm. that there's an unbroken line that goes back to them. And the reason that's important is that we believe that even the scriptures and their interpretation is linked to tradition. Mm -hmm. And the bishops are the guarantors of that tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That leads us right to the next one, magisterium. Magisterium refers to the leadership of the church. And usually that refers to the, the bishops uh, led by uh, the Holy Father. And teaching in oftentimes an authoritative, uh, authoritative way. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's our teaching. It's part of the gift given to the church. Mm -hmm. Example of, of uh, an essential teaching that the magisterium may come out and declare. Uh, well, they've already they, they've done it in the past, but uh, with the, uh, the the Immaculate Conception yeah. was one. Um, they could. It would be possible to declare um, the sanctity of life and being against that through abortion, mm -hmm. that that is evil. Mm -hmm. Now, the church already teaches that, but it hasn't, it hasn't chosen mm -hmm. to define that mm -hmm. uh, infallibly. Yeah, correct. Okay. So the magisterian has taught, but not in an infallible way. Gotcha. That, and, and again, this is a topic we could, we could talk about for, for a long time. The true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. That means Jesus is truly present, body um, and blood, soul and divinity. I, I think this is an enormous challenge in American society. I see many, many young people who are really, they're good, they're good Catholics, they just don't get the understanding of the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I think part of it is you, you got to kneel down when you see the Eucharist. you got to be focused on Christ. It truly is the body and blood of Christ. That, that is the ancient and current teaching of the church. Yeah, beautiful. And again, uh, we'll give the website where you can, we can read more about all these things. Well, hell and purgatory. H hell is, the church has always said hell exists. Mm -hmm. It has never said anyone is in hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, the presumption is that they're in hell. But the reason they don't say that is in the New Testament, Jesus said, who are you to say, you know, who is good or bad? That is God's decision alone. But the reason why it's so important is hell means is I truly have free choice. Mm. I can choose not to love God. Mm -hmm. I am not. I, I'm not compelled. Mm -hmm. That's the way he made us. And we, that's mm -hmm. the whole point of the story in the, uh, Adam and Eve in the garden. Free will. Purgatory. Uh, purgatory means that uh, if you're going to be in heaven, you can't have all these faults. You've got to be a nice guy, completely <laughs> nice guy. You can't say, you know, I like Chris, but he, there are a lot of problems there. Purgatory is the, is the taking away of that, that purifying us mm -hmm. to become part of the saints in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The priesthood. The priesthood, the, the people get maybe a little confused on this. There are two types of priesthood. And most people think of priesthood like me, I'm a priest. Sure, and right. we refer to that as the ministerial priesthood, mm -hmm. those priests who are serving others. But there is also the priesthood of the laity, mm -hmm. which has always been taught by the church. And in fact, in baptism, right after you pour the water on the baby's head or an adult's mm -hmm. head, um, you then do the unction with the cri uh, chrism, and you say to the person you are now, priest, prophet, and king. 
And it's that priest, which is the priest of the laity, that we all offer the sacrifice of the Mass. It can't be done without the priest, but everyone participates in that sacrifice. Beautiful. Thank you. That's, that was a good one. Uh, we've talked about life, but just the, the belief of, of life begins at conception. Right. The, the, the church has, I mean, all this is now supported by science. I mean, mm -hmm. once you have the DNA, if you don't, the church's position is, once a woman conceives, if you don't intervene and there are no uh, unusual events, that's going to result in a human life. Mm -hmm. yeah, so everything is programmed by God from then on. Mm -hmm. the, the, this is going to be, the, a human person is going to develop into a baby, mm -hmm. and we have to respect that. Mm -hmm. yeah, last one before the break, chastity. Chastity applies to both you and me. People and often nuns. confuse it with celibacy, I think. Right, right. So a, a chaste person means essentially that you look at the other person as a child of God, complete. So not just how pretty she is or whether the guy is handsome or what type of clothes that they wear. But this is a child of God made in the image and likeness of God. And that we have all these sexual abilities, we don't use them until it's the appropriate moment. Mm -hmm. Like in marriage, mm -hmm. and for someone who is single, mm -hmm. um, then they don't use them mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. But they still, whenever they interact with another man or woman, I mean, all mm -hmm. of that comes into play. Sure. And chastity is just living out the belief in the dignity of each human, treating Correct. each other with respect. Wonderful. Well, we're going to take a break, and we will be right back. We're going to talk more with Father John Pitterit. We're cruising right through some of the basic, essential teachings of the Catholic faith. You're, on, you're watching Mosaic. We'll be right back.